this is my third time recording this. It better work this time. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm getting hangry. Getting hungry. Hi. So, welcome to the first talk through video on my YouTube channel. Yay, me. Um, my name is Arielle Monet, and I am a makeup artist, influencer, content creator. I like that better. Something about influencer makes me feel kind of like, ooh, content creator. Um, I've recently been microchipped, gang gang. Uh, actually, it's the COVID vaccine. It hurts like a bee. And this bandit, you don't care. And so... I wanted to come here for my very first talk through video and talk about some of my favorite products. Um, there are some of them are on the bougie side, so I'm gonna call it my semi bougie body care video. And I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorites that I use regularly, things that definitely have been working for me for years. And I hope you guys will like, comment, and subscribe. She's a YouTuber after all. So, the first product is this. I heard about it from my friend Ari, and it is the Necessaire deodorant. Now, this is in the scent Eucalyptus, and it is a cream deodorant. It smells good. Can you see that? It's a cream, and when you roll it up, it obviously comes through the little holes and you can put on the deodorant I'm about to do right now just so I don't waste it because this stuff is not cheap typically your everyday deodorant will cost you a few bucks this will set you back about $20 on sephora.com now the reason why I love this deodorant is because it's made without all of the nasty stuff it's made without the aluminum it's made without paraben I haven't used traditional deodorant in a really long time this, like I said, is aluminum free and it has the added effect of having or the added ingredient of AHA, which a lot of deodorants don't necessarily have. And since it has AHA, it really does help to keep a lot of that bacteria that causes the undesirable odors at bay. It lasts a full 24 hours for me, but I definitely love this. The eucalyptus scent is really nice. It's not overpowering. And it plays nicely with my other fragrances that I wear on a regular basis. So this one definitely gets a 10 out of 10 for me. The next products that I want to use or want to show you guys are the L'Occitane Shower Oil and the Supple Skin Oil. So here's the shower oil. Hopefully y'all can see that. And the Supple Skin Oil right here. Now I love these together. These smell and work incredibly this shower oil think about double cleansing if you use an oil cleanser on your face at all it's tickling my ear my head if you use an oil cleanser on your face at all it's very similar to that it has the same emulsification when it gets wet it will foam up not super foamy but it'll foam up for you and definitely clean you very effectively and it leaves you feeling a little bit softer than you would otherwise. And so it makes your skin feel really soft. And in the summer months, sometimes a heavy body cream is not necessarily what I'm reaching for. So if I wanna just not put on a lotion, I feel like I can do this as long as I put it on right after I get out of the shower and dry off. It really does help keep in a lot of the moisture that the water left behind and it gives your skin the most amazing glow like most body oils wear but this tends to last and it smells fantastic please go to a luxithan store if you're in atlanta i know that there's there was a store in lennox and um or order it from sephora.com all the links will be down below but look at this glow Look at that glow upon my skin. Yes, Lord. 
this supple skin oil, $25. And I'm, it looks like I'm definitely low in this bottle, but I've got another backup because I'm never without this. And this shower oil, a cool thing about this is that it's 25 bucks, pricey for a body wash, right? But it comes with a, not comes with, but you can order refill bags and easily recycle the bag. It's just more value for your money. It is incredible. I highly, highly suggest it. Do it. Do it now. You guys don't know how accurate I am. You guys don't know how I don't miss when it comes to this body care stuff. But you're going to find out. Try this and you'll find out. It's delightful. The next product that I want to show you guys is kind of a it's body care but it's a little mm. as someone who grew up having braces as a kid oral hygiene is incredibly important to me like it should be for everybody but we know it's not always as important for everybody as I think it should be now I want to hop in my oral health care bag real quick and talk to you about three products that I really love. I'm gonna go back to body care, but let me just get this out of the way. My first thing that I love is my Philips Sonicare toothbrush. Let me show you. Now this is the Diamond Clean Sonicare toothbrush and it has the three, let me show you. It has the three different settings, um, the gum setting, the whitening setting, and just the overall clean setting. And it comes with, well, it comes with a brush head. It comes with a travel case. It also will let you know when you're brushing your teeth too hard. Now, say you're brushing your teeth, right? And you just, you're going a little too ham. You hear that? That might be too much. But that differentiation in the, how it's brushing will let you know you're pressing too hard. Also, it has a timer on it. We're all supposed to brush our teeth for a smooth two minutes, right? So break that up into four, like the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. It counts out the time, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds, and you're done. If you want to change it, you have the opportunity to do so. I love this, it makes things easy, it keeps my teeth. I mean, girl, let's, let's, let's look at the material. Let's look at the material. You see what it is. You see it. And so, <laughs> that was arrogant. And it really does a great job. It cleans very thoroughly. I've used Oral-B toothbrushes. They just don't hit the same. Sorry, if that's what you like, baby, use what you like, do what you wanna do. These are merely suggestions. They're merely suggestions on how to do things. And um, I really think this is worth it. Now this toothbrush will set you back $80. It's an $80 toothbrush. Of course you can buy more affordable toothbrushes, spin brushes, quip brushes. My daughter actually has a quip brush and it does something pretty similar. Just, just not the same way that this does. And I prefer this. And furthermore, the price, it says $80 and I got that off of Amazon. But I'm sh when I went to Target, it only cost me about $50. I believe they were having a sale of some sort. I think that this specific toothbrush probably is a little more on the affordable side when you go in store. So check it out when you go to Target. Check it out if it's available at Walmart, whatever retailer you want to go to. And the final thing... Well, no, the next thing I want to talk about is my flosser. Now, I'm not somebody who's going to get like a long string of floss and wrap it around my hands and like get the floss in because I like to have space. And the idea of touching the string with my hands and getting the spit on my fingers, is... I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I don't need to do it. No, I don't like it. I love my water pick and a new to me kind of product, I've been using it for about a month or so now, is this Quip Flosser. Now they've got a different kind that pops up and out, but I like this one better. This is the Placker, and I had it on my Instagram stories. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. I'll have it somewhere on the page and somehow, but it comes with a little mirror. 
it comes with the placker and it comes with the floss which is underneath so the cool thing about this is you press the little button that has the cue release boom you see that little point part right there where you open where it opens up you can just go in here grab the string right Pete grab the string press it down pull it out cut the string off and you're good to go and you can go ahead and hook it up the way you need to hook it up and it's so easy to clean afterward you run it under water use some mild detergent or mild dish soap to clean it i always keep a little soap to keep it clean because it'll get everywhere and all you have to do is just hold the little string piece right there let it loose and let it go and you're good to go i love this thing and then finally the last oral care thing is a tried and true something that everybody knows about it's the crush strips now these are the supreme flex fit crush strips and online they run you about 53 dollars of course we've seen crush strips for cheaper but this sticks in place and does a better job to me whitening and it's the express whitening like the the the, two, the one hour whitening and oh, and it does a great job put it on your teeth do something for an hour wipe it off pull it off wipe it off wipe the excess off a little bit don't rinse your mouth out quite yet let it sit let it chill let it settle out marinate and it's bomb we can all have a better smile if we take the best care of our teeth and i love these products to take care of my teeth so I'm gonna back up to body care just a second and pull out one of my favorite game changers. And it is, I believe Nye, LA Beautyologist here on YouTube, put me on. I'll leave her information over here or some sort of screen cap. It is the PBF Vanish. There we go. That's a little better. And this is for taking care of your skin after you have waxed or after you've tweezed or after you have you know taken care of your bikini area it's skin brightening ingrown hair relief waxing and razor bump relief it's a cool blue roll-on and it's for men and women now I don't personally suffer from a lot of discoloration, but as a darker skinned woman, I do suffer from some discoloration like on my elbows, on my underarms, not a ton, and in my bikini zone. Again, if you don't want to use these products, if you don't care about that, baby, you don't have to care about it. You can live your life with your discoloration, it's perfectly normal. But I know for some people, myself included, it can make you feel a little self-conscious especially if it's a deeper if it's a, a starker contrast between your complexion and your dark spots of course so using this under my arms has really helped to lighten them I want to say at least two shades it's not like a a world of difference because my discoloration wasn't so super pigmented but I've definitely noticed that it's been brightened and I love it so much I actually have a, a little picture of me holding it up and no I wasn't paid to say this <laughs> at all these are just things that I like so I really swear by this product I got it off of Amazon be careful getting things off Amazon it can be kind of dicey you would sh ideally you want to go to a retailer that holds it I know that LA Beautyologist used to carry this on her website you can go ahead and hit her up and fig and see if she still has it but this on amazon costs about 31 dollars, and i think that's a decent enough price but for some brightening products for your body it can be a little steep for some do a patch test and um let me know how much you love it you're not gonna hate this moving on to black some black owned stuff i'm excited well at least one of a few in this haul or favorites and it is the Shiny Darden Retinol Reform. Let me see if I can get her closer. The Shiny Darden Retinol Reform Cream. Now, retinol is great for your skin. It can help alleviate fine lines, wrinkles, especially if you're a little older. I'm 37. I've been using this for a couple years now and my skin, we looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. Room for improvement, but we're looking pretty good regardless. This is a black owned skincare line 
or created at least by a black dermatologist, Shani Darden, of course, and it is incredible. This is a much more palatable version for my skin and I still get sensational results. It still looks great. Fine lines and wrinkles are alleviated, but they do have to be finer lines and finer wrinkles. And so it has been doing well. It helps me out with like some of the texture areas on my skin. I'm in, de I'm in desperate need of a peel, like um, a mild peel, chemical peel. And Shiny Darden just kind of, the retinol reform kind of just helps me look better longer in between those things. So this is not a cheap product at all. This bottle is one fluid ounce. It's $88. Now, if, if, if that's light work to you, baby, it's light work to you. But that, 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 that that's a little heavy for me. It's a little heavy for a kid. And so they have a smaller version, but it's literally like this big. So I'm like, well, I might as well spend the 88 since I already liked what I got in the $30 size. It is incredible for your skin. Again, patch test it out, put it in the crook of your elbow, put it on the your jawline or something like right here where it's going to actually come in contact with the area of your skin that you wanna try it on to see. Because the skin here, it's thinner and can behave similarly to the skin on your face, but there's nothing like trying it where you're going to be putting it. And I put it on my face, so the jawline it is. I gotta shout out the homies, Aaliyah's face and my homie Terrence. Now, Terrence Williams is one of my little bud, one of my buddies. He creates some beautiful headbands. Like, look at this cute headband. He has tons. I love the little black little fists of power. I'm into that. I think it's super cute, and I love yellow. So when I've got my little fro going on, I. I I shaved my head recently, well, last year. And you know, I got my little fro coming. I got my headband on. I feel very, very cute when I put that on. And so he and I were talking, that was a whole commercial for him. He and I were talking about Bum Bum Cream from Sol de Janeiro. And we were talking about the scent. The scent is nice, but it can be a little strong. It can be a little overwhelming and when you have something that's highly fragranced like that it can be irritating to skin if you have sensitive skin and i didn't find it to be super duper moisturizing it was just a smell good lotion and it didn't really do anything i know that the original bum bum cream is supposed to help alleviate cellulite and stuff like that but i was ashy afterwards sis, and i'm just i don't think i should have to put on lotion and be ashy afterwards it should not go down like that. And so when Aaliyah's face talked about this product, the La Mercier Ambe Vanille um, body cream, I wanted to try it out. I tried it out because without having ever smelled it, I don't have access to the body products at my Sephora, my local Sephora. And when I smelled it, I'm like, what does it smell like? What does it smell like? It smells like the Bum Bum Cream, but not quite as intense it smells incredible and actually moisturizes like it does what it needs to do i Aaliyah, you did that girl you did that i've got another one of her recommendations coming so Another couple products I want to go through are along the vein of body moisture. Now this is kind of a shameless plug, but I really do love these products. My best friend, her husband has a, a beard and skincare line and they are lit. You can see the ingredients. The ingredients are very simple. Now it's called Royal Beard and Mane Grooming. As you can see, and they are to die for. My daughter loves this scent, the vanilla passion scent, because it smells exactly like a straw, like a, a, a vanilla cupcake. And it smells like frosting. It smells like vanilla frosting. I love it so much for her because it's 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 just a light, delicious gourmand scent. And who doesn't want to smell like vanilla frosting? Some of us don't, but especially for kids. I love it. Now, my favorite scent is the Caribbean Summers. 
oh my gosh it smells so good it's fruity it's light it's not particularly juvenile scented so I love these. These work so incredibly well. And when you get out the shower and you're still like a little damp after you towel off lightly, you put these on, it locks in the moisture. Like we all know how well great shea butter is for the skin, but this just takes it to another level and it smells incredible. Now I'm calling this bougie because of how luxurious it feels on the skin and how it doesn't necessarily absorb completely, but does leave a beautiful light sheen of moisturization. And the melanin, this summertime y'all, we outside. We're definitely outside. So this cost six bucks for, I believe the 1.7 ounce size. And you don't have to pay a bougie price to get a bougie feeling. You know what I'm saying? This next product I'm about to talk about is something that I have been wearing for years. It's something that I swear by. I have literally one in the car and it's not lip gloss, it's one in the car. It's one in my bathroom, it's one in here in my office because I have skylights. It is incredible and amazing. It is none other than the semi-famous Super Goop, let me see. Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. Now there's a glow screen, there's other versions of it, there's even a mineral powder that you can put over top of your makeup, there's a setting spray that has from this um, uh, brand Super Goop, but this is the sunscreen, it's the SPF 40. And why I like it is because it, it could never leave that disgusting ashy cast, cause look, it's see-through, it's basically translucent, it's clear on the skin and it does have kind of that dimethicone feel like uh, those older primers, like the ones by Smashbox when they first came out, if y'all remember that. It absorbs and it's not shiny on your skin after a while. It is incredible. I swear by it. I love it so much. It is my favorite. It's my actual favorite. The price ain't my favorite. Now this is the smaller size, it's the 1.7 fluid ounce and this will run you about $34. Bougie, but I think it's definitely worth it. They even have a bigger size at 2.5 sunscreen, 2.5 ounces, excuse me, and it's um, almost an ounce more and you're paying 10 extra bucks for it. If that's too much of a significant price point for you to pay, which for some of us, it definitely is. <music> I love this. I heard about both of these products from Makeup for Women of Color, who is one of the youngest estheticians I know, and she don't miss. Now, I said I was gonna come back around to another Aaliyah's Face recommendation. She originally um, saw Casey Aaliyah, her information will be here, saw Casey Aaliyah talking about this, and it is Skin Fix. Skin Fix is a brand that I heard about from her and found at Sephora. And this is the AHA Renewing Cream. Let me get that close so y'all can see it. The AHA Renewing Cream and the Resurface Glycolic Renewing Scrub. Now, scrubs on faces, not so much for me, but scrubs on the body, yes ma'am. Give it to me right now. I love it. These make your skin feel amazing. What is that condition? The term is 
uh, strawberry legs, kilitosis pilaris. I think so. Somebody fact check me. You know, tell me if I'm wrong or not. But this really helps alleviate that. When I find myself having, you know, those little hair bumps or if my skin's just feeling a bit rougher, it's feeling a bit more patchy than usual, I go in with these guys and they knock it out. Knock it out the park. They, you have to get these. Now, we just got finished talking about AHA in the deodorant and we know that AHA is going to help shed the dead skin or remove the dead skin from the body in a chemical way instead of like a physical exfoliator but these are incredible now the renewing scrub costs thirty dollars and i'm looking over at my notes and the body cream costs 45 dollars. but you get a big tub like this is a pretty significantly sized tub it's lasted me a good while i'm gonna need some more soon but i absolutely love those products i use these things interchangeably depending upon what my skin needs at the time if i'm just feeling like i need a little bit extra self-care and love i'm going to use those and just my skin is the smoothest it's ever felt like i have smooth skin like regardless but this takes it to another level this might seem a little crazy or maybe not crazy but out of place but it's my pattern beauty microfiber towel I like the Pattern Beauty products. I like them. They're, I haven't used them all, but what I've used, I've liked. Not loved, but liked. And so this microfiber towel is huge. Like you can obviously get a microfiber towel from Amazon or anywhere else that you get your microfiber towels from that you wanna use for your hair. But this one just works really well to actually take out some water from the hair. Like some microfiber towels, I find they're not, they just don't hit the right way. It's easy to launder, easy to clean. You just throw it in the washing machine, hang it up to dry. You don't put it in the dryer. Don't put it in the dryer. Don't use a fabric softener with it. If that's any microfiber, anything though, don't, don't do that. Just let it hang to dry. Oh, it's huge. It covers up my head. My head is big. My head is big. Like, you can't see it through the wig, but like, this is all, it's, it's significantly sized. Um, the baddest girls usually have the biggest heads and foreheads, so we love that. And this does a great job. I have one for me, I have one for my daughter, I have one for my mom. We all swear by this because we have the same kind of curly hair. Love, 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 love this product. It works well for me. It does a great job, doesn't over dry my hair. It's just perfect. It's the perfect towel. It's the perfect microfiber towel for me. The next thing I wanna talk about is something that I've been doing for a while. Like I said earlier, or maybe I didn't say it earlier, I stopped using regular underarm deodorant for, because it just, I've been hearing about how bad it is for your skin and how it can make your underarms darker and there's tons of chemicals, blah, blah, blah. Well, the thing of it is there's tons of chemicals in it that you just don't necessarily want in your skin. So I was like, well, what else can I use? And so when I got the PBF, PFB Vanish, I was like, oh, this works. And it's got like a kind of like an alcohol smell, like a chemically smell. It kind of reminds me of... The Ordinary Glycolic 7% Toner. So I was like, huh, if I don't wanna use deodorant, I don't wanna stink. I know that if I'm washing every day, I'm not gonna stink that badly. What if I just gave this a try to see if I can lighten my underarms? That's what I initially thought. And then it had the added benefit of keeping away those sweat odors and it worked amazing. This is what I first started using on like my bikini zone to help brighten it and lighten it and under my arms to help brighten and lighten and it worked amazing as a deodorant too. It worked good as a brightening and lightening agent. 
it's not as great as the PFB vanish. It's it just simply isn't. It's it's really good, don't get me wrong, but this as a deodorant for the underarms is incredible and it does make me feel a little bougie because I just put some on a a little towel, uh, not a towel, on the little cotton pad. Couldn't think of the word. Put some on a little cotton pad, just take care of business and I'm staying free for the whole day I freaking love it it's amazing it's amazing it's one of the most incredible discoveries I've made in 2020 and also I think Ebony at Cave of Beauty you can find her information here she's an esthetician who I adore and love she was like yeah definitely use your glycolic acid toners or you know experiment with these kinds of things she had a whole thread about it on twitter and i love twitter and i was just like oh she basically just co-signed what i've been saying for a year and it's just like i'd like to thank the academy for just nominating me for this prestigious award of being right but i say give it a try the next thing i want to show you guys is something that i've been using forever exfoliating gloves now these aren't exfoliating gloves per se these are exfoliating cloths the exfoliating gloves they do a good job they do a really great job but i used to live in atlanta i lived in atlanta for a good 13 years before coming back home to jersey to help take care of my mom and i would go oh, my best friend actually put us on to the Jeju Korean Spa. Now, if you know anything about Korean spas, you know that you have to be like completely nude in there, of course, when you're in the spa space. And they have a ton of different services that they can give you. They'll do waxing, they'll do brow shape. I don't know if they do brow shaping, but they have something called a body shampoo, which is basically an overall exfoliation. But when they do the body shampoo, they pull out these exfoliating gloves or exfoliating cloths like so you just let me see if i can demo it real quick they're scrubby they stick their hand in it and then they scrub the life out of you they scrub all of your sins away they scrub you until there is no more skin left like they get whatever dead skin that might be on you that you thought could be on you, that thought about growing on you, growing old on you, they get it off. And I finally found these because of TikTok. And I went on Amazon and got some ASAP. Now, the way you're supposed to use it is before you um, start in with your body wash at all, you get this, you get your body wet, you spend some time under the shower, get your body wet, and just chill for like five minutes. Then get one of those cloths on scrub and you will see the dead skin roll up it's gross you'll see the dead skin roll up and come off your arms legs stomach chest back wherever you're scrubbing feet elbows knees it softens them right away it is insane how well they they work i love it so much i got a huge pack off of amazon for like nine dollars and this is bougie because your skin transforms it doesn't it doesn't feel like regular skin anymore it's not normal skin no more you're not like them you're in a class all of your own <laughs> it just oh my gosh oh my gosh i've been chasing these exfoliating cloths for as long as i can remember and finally found them they're incredible. Invest, invest, invest. Moving on to the next products. Can we really get through a bougie skincare, body care, anything without mentioning Fenty? We can't. They're always in the conversation. And I feel like these are luxury items. Now these are the infamous Fenty Body Lavas. This is in brown sugar. Trophy Wife is right here in the yellow gold. And when I tell you I put these on my skin and I glisten like an any baby, I look incredible. 
incredibly um, narcissistic and conceited to say, but my skin is on another level. It's on another level. Imagine doing all of your skincare and then having somewhere to go and putting these bad boys on. You're taking it to another level. It's another kind of bougie. You have a different kind of skin. You are going to look yeah. incredible, sensational, yeah. wonderful, fantastic, yeah. all of that. I love this. If you don't apply it too heavily, it doesn't have that sticky feel. Like when you OD, that's when it starts to like start stick, feeling sticky. But outside of that, these actually do feel pretty good on my skin. I love them. They are the price they are at $59 each. But I think if you shop the sales, if you shop Fenty, they have sales definitely on these products. So you can go ahead and use them to your heart's desire, heart's content, and it's incredible. These do have a tiny bit of transfer, but the Sol de Janeiro Copacabana Bronze Glow Oil does not. This is one of my favorite products. Now, instead of having like an overall glitter type shimmer, this has more of a sheen to it, which I actually like a lot. And this color in Copacabana, if you are my complexion and deeper, this is the one you need to go for. If you just want that natural, subtle, and it has the same smell as the Bum Bum Cream. It just makes you look like, oh my gosh, what is this? It just gives you the most gorgeous shine, gorgeous sheen, and it dries down. It's completely dry to the touch. Let's see, it's completely dry to the touch. I, I did OD on it and how much I applied. But it does give you some, ooh, it will give you some glitter, some sheen, some shine, all that good stuff, but it's fantastic in the summer and when the sun's shining on you for a beach day, for photo shoots, all kinds of stuff. I definitely recommend this. And it's slightly less expensive at $35. I love it. It smells great. It's bougie. They both smell great. They're both bougie. You can't go wrong. But if you want something kind of a dupe for the Fenty brown sugar, this is the way to go. Um, the next thing is a product that I really don't hear so many people talking about and it's another glow oil another way to just feel luxurious about the skin and it's the NARS Manoi body glow now you've probably seen this and you're like what the hell is this what does it do I mean it's a body glow it doesn't really it's not non transfer proof the way the Sol de Janeiro is it literally is just a bougie body oil it's it's just that it doesn't have this incredibly fantastic scent, but it doesn't hurt either. It looks very, well, I buy a lot of products that look kind of similar, that do different things because I want a different look for different things going on. And it's just a nice body glow oil. It leaves a subtle sheen on the skin. It does have some tiny amounts of glitter. It smells good. It's giving a little nana giving a little inside of grandma's purse when you go to church. However, not very.
just to see if I liked the scent. I hadn't really smelled it before so much so. So I wanted to try this out and I think I might, if I wind up using it more, I'll go back for the the um, bigger size. But this was 34 bucks. I know. It's a little bit of product. Um, one and a half fluid ounces. 45 mils. It's still great. This is the end of my first video. This is the end of my little bougie haul. It took me three days to get this together. Like, this YouTube life is not easy. <laughs> like, girl, y'all do this for a job? It's a job. It's a, it's a job, baby. Like, it is a job. It is work. But I had a blast doing it. I hope you guys have fun listening to me ramble on about my favorite stuff. And I hope you'll pick up some things and just let me know if you try them out, if you like them. Send me a little DM on Instagram or, he, you know, send me a message on Twitter. I'm Ariel Monet, Ariel Monet at both of them, at, on both of those spaces, Ariel Morin here. And so I hope you guys will continue to follow me on my little journey on YouTube. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. I'm about to tear up some garlic parmesan wings after this. Straight up. For real. <laughs> garlic parmesan wings got my name on it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hope the wings fly. Georgia back to Atlanta